want your money. I got this just for you. This is Harvey. Come here. Um, they just gave him to us. And they said, good luck. That's, I, I didn't know what they meant until I realized this, this, this one guy here ate half a bag of cat food. Come here. Do you know how big a bag of cat food is? Not only that, right? His name's Harvey because he only responds to, to the grown man named Harvey. So, yeah, you know, that's fun. Because this is how much a cat is supposed to eat in a day. This. So this is Harvey. Um, come here. I saw this yesterday and I was like, you know what? Let me try to feed Harvey less food than I give him because he's a relatively bigger cat. Um, I fed him less food. He was not happy. Want to know why? Because I fell asleep and I woke up. Harvey opened my door. I did not know he can do that until I fed him less food. Not only did he open my door, he turned on my light. I don't know how he did it. And he just kept staring at me until I gave him more food. So the thing is, right, less food is great unless you have a cat that just, that just does not want to cooperate. I'm not going to lie to you. Harvey normally likes to get what he wants. What's a rumor about an animal that's not actually true? The rumor that cats are very low maintenance. Come here. This is Harvey. Harvey likes his baths a certain temperature. He likes to be bathed every other day, and he only falls asleep to Nickelback. Come here. I have not spent almost one night without listening to at least one Nickelback song because of Harvey. Really think about it before you get a cat. When I tell you that I need a quiet room for my own house, come here. I need a break from certain family members. Now, I'm not going to say who, but I'll give you a hint. They are covered in gray fur. They have an adult name and they keep eating all of the lunch meat. It's Harvey. I need a break from Harvey. He's right here. Nothing would cheer me up more on this Friday than meeting all of your pets that have human names. At this point, I think this was a mistake to introduce everybody to Harvey. Come here. This is about the fifth time that I'm showing people who Harvey is. Uh, he is a cat that loves the smell of spaghetti. Uh, he needs to watch you eat food. That's like his thing. And he loves Nickelback. <laughs> um, uh, he's more famous than I am now because now I'm getting emails every day asking for his potograph where they want an autograph of Harvey's paw. Someone asked if Harvey had a manager, come here. He doesn't even know how to properly eat cat food. You know, I don't even think he knows he's a cat, to be honest with you. There's a rumor going around that guys with cats are a lot less masculine than guys that don't like cats. Now, if that is in fact true, come here. Um, I would not care at all about being masculine because I, um, I very much like my cats. This is Harvey, like everybody knows. Um, he has a lot of separation anxiety, so he needs to be held almost all the time. But Harvey has siblings, uh, so we'll go down the list. Oh, here's one right now. This one's name is Bach. He has a big fixation with just touching my face, um, and he loves movies, so we have to have movie night every Wednesday or, or he gets quite upset. This is their sister, Peta, because she's the size of a Peta pocket. Come here. She doesn't like her brothers um, at all. So, you know, you always have to make sure that they're separated um, until it's like, you know, time to eat. Now, I think I'm still pretty masculine, right? I put disinfectant on one of my cuts. I only cried twice. So how much is your watch? One point five million. One point five million dollars. It's the one. Come here. Harvey does not approve. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, right, we're really over here thinking that we saw the same exact watch at Chuck E. Cheese, I'm almost certain. And the only difference is the Chuck E. Cheese watch lights up when you press the buttons, you know what I mean? And the thing is, right, the thing that's getting me is that unless the watch turns you into a mighty morphing Power Ranger, even then it still might not be worth it. And the only thing I can think about is you spend all the money on the watch, I promise you, they'll still check the phone for the time. But is your son a treat to have at the vet? Is your son a delight? Yeah, here's the thing, right, come here. This one right here, the vet said that she was an absolute delight to have at the vet. This one right here. 
This one, the vet said, was the most well-behaved one at the vet right here. This one was. This one is banned from the vet. Come here. He got banned because not only was he uncooperative, the veterinarian said that Harvey here created a toxic working environment. I don't even know what that means. The vet said that he believes that Harvey is aware that his name is Harvey because he kept scratching on anything he could, spelling the letter H. So they asked me to grab him and get him out of there quickly. So yeah, I had to find a new place for this one. But the other two did just fine, I think, yes. You guys are overfeeding your cats because this is how much a cat is supposed to eat. As you guys know, right, this is Harvey. Come here. I wanted to try this one more time. I wanted to give him the appropriate amount of cat food, right? Apparently, it's like half of a cup. Well, after I did that, right, Harvey, he ate it, and I thought there was no problems. Until later on, he kept scratching himself on my phone and repeatedly kept pressing the power button. Well, when that happens, emergency services gets called. Harvey called the police on me. When I told the vet this, the vet said, yeah, I'd feed him more for your own safety. So, you know what? I think I'm just going to go back to what I normally feed him. Facts about your cat that I bet you didn't know. Cats can get pregnant by multiple fathers at the same time. This is why kittens from the same litter can look so different. That makes so much sense. Come here. Because this one right here, he is just like his mother. Okay? He's very calm, very collected. He's a very kind cat. This one is just like her father, okay? She's very sweet, but normally very quiet. This one is 20 pounds. Come here. They all came from the same litter. They are all siblings, but I have no idea how this happened. There's a picture in the veterinarian's office, his picture actually, warning everybody that if they see this cat, to get him far away from the vet. I don't think you understand just how much he's a problem. He's a real problem most of the time. Again, this one right here loves movie nights, right? Loves to watch movies. And this one here loves to cuddle when it gets cold outside. Honestly, a very friendly cat. One time, Harvey scaled the neighbor's wall when I was asleep and got into their house to eat their dog's food. Come here. He wasn't even hungry. It was strictly for a power dynamic. That's what the vet said. The vet said that Harvey has a really tough time with authority. Is something you regret not telling your parents sooner. That I accidentally made our cat famous? Come here. Um, the UPS man came to our door today, and my dad answered the door. He was holding Harvey. And the UPS man said, oh my goodness, is that Harvey? My dad says, how do you know our cat's name? The UPS man then took a picture with Harvey and wanted his autograph. Come here. Harvey can't write, so we did his autograph for him. It's been a long morning. I a rumor about an animal that's not actually true that cats cannot be more famous than humans come here um i made a video telling everybody about harvey right how harvey is a very high maintenance cat that loves to fall asleep to nickelback i don't know why it's always been like that since he was born so i have not gone a day without having to listen to a nickelback song because harvey requests it well we got a box in the mail today that was labeled for Mr. Harvey. And you can only guess what's inside of it. It's labeled Harvey. We hope this helps you sleep at night. Team NB. And I thought, there's no way, right? Well, Nickelback sent Harvey so many clothes to sleep in. He's loving the box right now. Come here. Thank you so much. This is very unexpected this morning. Harvey's excited. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I probably should have invested in getting a chicken. I just learned this today. Chickens can actually eat spiders and get rid of them for you, right? Want well, to know what happens when there's a spider in my room? Harvey leaves me. This this cat right here abandons me because he is so afraid of spiders. I mean, I, I can't be too upset with him. You know, he's just like me. So that that's, there's that, I'm, I'm definitely getting a chicken. Harvey's going to get a brother. What was the quickest job you quit and how long? 47 minutes. Come here, 47 minutes. I was interviewing for an office job, right? It was about like two or three interviews. And then at the end of it, I actually got the job. So my first day, right, I clocked in at noon. By 12.30, the manager of that job walks in and sees me. He's like, oh, hey, how are you, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. But he saw that I had cat hair on my outfit. And he's like, oh, do you have a cat? 
I said, yeah, his name is Harvey, right? I was going to show him some pictures. And he says, yeah, at some point, you're going to have to choose between the job and your cat. He's like, because my allergies are way too bad to have cat hair around. And I said, so you're telling me to choose between Harvey or this job? He said, yes. I packed up all my stuff and I walked out. So by 1247, I clocked out and I never came back. So look, me and Harvey are a team is what I'm trying to say right now.